Hello, and welcome to our weekly live chat for billing and reimbursement. And this week, we're going to talk about private payers. That does not mean they pay privately. It means that they're privately owned. Now, again, private, essentially in this case, private means non-governmental. That's basically all it means because these companies and organizations that provide um, health insurance are public. There are a lot of them are public companies traded on the stock exchange, but they are considered private payers because they're not federal government. So let's investigate that a little more. Wow, this slide is weird. Okay, sorry. Um, private payers include, and I'm sure that you've heard of some of these names, Humana, United Health, Aetna, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Cigna, Ambetter. Sorry, I have a little problem with that name. I mean, who was in that meeting? Anyway, I digress. Um, the fact is, is that uh, they get to um, name their companies, whatever they want. Okay. I mean, Aetna, after all, is named after a volcano. So there you go. All right. So this is what we mean by private payers in the health care, health insurance industry. They get to make up their own rules, their own laws, okay? And as I just said, what is meant by this is they're not government run, like Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, okay? And um, private health insurance currently covers just over 50% of the United States population, which is interesting, especially when you look at the number of baby boomers in that generation that are definitely on Medicare, but as you're going to learn next week, we're going to talk about government, um, uh, that uh, a patient can be covered by a government-run insurance program like Medicare and also have private insurance. That's a whole thing. We won't talk about that now. OK, so that's what we're talking about when we're talking about private health insurance. It's not private and it's not privately owned, but they didn't invite me to this meeting either. All right. So it's important for uninsured people to know this because knowledge really is power. And um, a lot of people who do not have health insurance do that horrible thing. They assume that they can't afford it, even though there are marketplace health insurance plans that are free or almost free. Um, I know somebody who got a health insurance plan from the marketplace for $10 a month. Okay, so if you know anybody who does not have health insurance, and when you ask them, they say, oh, I can't afford it. You know, the marketplace, internet, you can get that everywhere. Take a look. It doesn't cost anything to check it out, but it can save not only a person a great deal of money, but they can, it can save their lives. OK, there are patients who don't go for preventive care because they don't have insurance, because when you have insurance, preventive care is absolutely free. No copay, no coinsurance or anything. OK, um, under ACA. Um, so it's important that um, that people know about this and uninsured people uh, tend to investigate things less. I, I, well, actually, it's not, it's just not them. It's a lot of people assume, you know, I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with individuals. And regardless of what we're talking about, we could be talking about 
an apartment or a house. We could be talking about replacement windows. We could be talking about a car. And and they say, oh, I can't afford it. And I say, really, how much does it cost? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure it's a lot of money. Well, in this day and age where we have Google <laughs> and the internet at your fingertips, do not ever, ever assume. Those of us who work in healthcare, never, never, never assume. That is a horrible thing to do. But it is important. It is important. You know it's important because when you have health insurance, especially with preventive care under ACA being free, it's so important for everybody's health because I will tell you that health care, first of all, preventing getting sick is so much better. Uh, unless you're a hypochondriac, but hypochondriacs really feel more comfortable with non-existent diseases and illnesses. Um, that was a joke. Okay. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> I I inherited my father's sense of humor. But the point is, is that with any search engine, Google, Bing, whatever you want to call it, um, the fact is, is that you, you not only need to adopt, you need to share knowledge is power and investigating because it doesn't cost you anything to go into the marketplace and check things out and see what's available and get real prices. And then you can say, I cannot afford a Mercedes because it's too expensive. Oh, really? How much does it cost? It costs a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Now everybody can understand that I can't afford to buy a hundred thousand dollar car. Okay. Yes, I know there are models that are only sixty or seventy thousand dollars. Can't afford that either. My point is, don't say no until there's something to say no to, and use Google because the internet has lots of good information. And you want to go to the marketplace.gov, not a fake one. Okay. All right. Let's move on. All right. Um, you're probably familiar with a lot of these. There are different types of private health insurance that are offered. You will note that a lot of these are very similar to those offered by government plans as well. So this is not exclusive. But the fact of the matter is, is that, again, there are choices, there are options. OK, and you can start with the HMO, Health Maintenance Organization, and those plans are the most restrictive. You have to stay in network to have coverage. You have to have a primary care provider that you go to first for everything, whatever it might be. But it's also the least expensive. And you know what? I don't think having a primary care provider, your go-to person who gets to know about your whole everything is a bad idea. Because isn't it good to have someone who's actually educated and has knowledge to help you surveil this complex network of body systems and goings on, there's lots of things happening. 14 body systems, and they all interact with each other. And you know this from your anatomy and physiology class. So, so the point is, is I think it's a good idea and you pay less for it. Hmm. Okay, Prefer, preferred provider organization is the other most common and um this is costs a little more but it's less restrictive so in other words you don't have to go to your primary care provider you can go right to a specialist if you already know what's going on 
you know, is I have allergies. I already have an allergist who's in network. I'll just go right to the allergist. I don't have to go to the primary care provider first. Okay. The other thing, so that saves time. And um, the other thing is PPOs will pay for out of network providers. Now they pay less, like they'll pay a hundred percent or 90% of somebody in network, but they may only pay 50% for somebody out of network, but 50% is better than nothing. Okay. All right. Um, you also have um, high deductible health plans that are, are becoming more common. And basically that's for someone who is essentially healthy it gets closer to what used to be called um, a major a major indemnity. Uh, that's not the right word. Okay, but it'll it, essentially you're looking at only having coverage for large expenses. Essentially, a hospital stay, surgery, something like that. Okay. The point is. Don't assume. Check it out. You know, for example, you may find that the doctors who you have now in your life and in your health care um, are all in the same network. And so you can opt for an HMO and save some money without having to change any physicians. Okay, cool. Whatever. The point is... Um, knowledge is power. And I'm talking to students who are actually here saying, I want to learn. So that is excellent. And now I want you to not only learn, but I want you to share that knowledge with your friends and your relatives. Okay. Now, when you get into the marketplace, um, ACA, the Affordable Care Act, um, yeah, also known as Obamacare, but I think that's now, okay. Um, they have different tiers and the the first time i had i heard of this it said i have different metal tiers and i'm like what okay it's just the way they name them so instead of naming them abc or one two three or premium and not so premium uh so they call them platinum gold bronze silver just like the olympics except there's no platinum in the olympics but anyway so platinum and gold offer lower out-of-pocket and lower deductibles. Oh, that's good. But they cost more every month to have that plan. Bronze and silver have lower premiums, but higher out-of-pocket expenses. So again, you have to apply this knowledge to your own self and your the loved ones. And maybe you're talking to patients or you're working. Um, so the point is you have to look at your own situation or the patient's situation and figure out, you know, do, do I go to, if I go to the doctor twice a year, for an annual checkup or something, then I would want lower premiums and higher out-of-pocket because I'm only paying that out-of-pocket twice a year, right? But if I or somebody has a chronic illness, they may want to pay more on the monthly because they're going to the, the um, they're getting services multiple times a month, okay? I don't know. You don't know. You got to sit down and figure this out. And you have that tracking, right? You just have to look at it. And part, and it needs to be part of your analysis, okay? All right. They also have catastrophic major medical is what I was trying to think before, which only covers, you know, um, hospital. Okay. Catastrophic plans, which is similar to major merit medical. They have the lowest premiums, but the highest out of pocket. Okay. So, and it restricts eligibility 
to only those people who are under 30. So younger is expected to be healthier. Okay. At, or those who qualify for certain hardship exemptions. I don't know what they are. Do you? Are you going to assume? Or are you going to look into this? Okay. And then there are short-term plans. And um, these are very good. Um, if, if uh, let's say, for example, you don't have insurance now, or the person doesn't have insurance now, and they get a new job, and they are not eligible for the new insurance for 90 days, get a short-term plan to cover you for that 90 days. Okay. It all depends. So it's just good to know that these things exist. Okay. All right. How do they know how much to charge you for your premium? I don't know. It's anybody's guess. I think they use the little ball spinner that they use for the lottery. But no, th these are the things that are documented. Your income, your age, number of people on a plan. Because, you know, there are some people who are single, so they only get insurance for themselves. But then they also have like family plans, mother, father, children, or mother, other father, or no, father, other father, mother, other mother. I don't care. Everybody gets included. It all depends. It all depends on each adult's situation, right? Okay. Which insurance company? Because the truth is the same exact policy with Aetna may not cost the same as the same exact insurance as the, as the HMO with United Healthcare. You have to shop around. And the good news is you get to do it while sitting on the couch which, you know, is bad for your health because you're supposed to get up and move. Okay. The state of residence, where you live, this is also part of the formula. Okay. The type of plan, as we discussed before, HMO, PPO, whatever, um, the plan tier of platinum versus bronze. Okay. And then the particular benefits. In other words, does it cover acupuncture? Does it cover medications? Drug Is there a drug plan included in there or not? Not necessarily, not automatically, but it can be. There's all kinds of, there are plans that cover OTC over the counter. So like when you go to Walgreens and you pick stuff off the shelf, they will give you money for that. They will pay for that. It's amazing. Okay. So, this is an overview. You got to read your chapter and do your homework. And, and I'm not talking about your homework for the class. Of course, you have to do that. But what I'm saying is, is if you or anybody you know is, is, doesn't have health insurance, you can now help them and guide them and, and walk them through the marketplace. Okay? It's free to anyone with internet connection, which means anyone who knows where a public library is. Okay, all right, and they're back open now. All right, so I am here for you. My email address, make sure you use the email address. I just sent out the midterm, hey, you're doing great, okay? But I also want you to be aware that the email address that came from is not the, e that's the email address that ships to the third ring of Saturn. Okay. Please, please, please bookmark this, M make a note of it, whatever, um, whatever you need to do. I'm here for you. I will respond to you within 24 hours but only if I get the email. It's it's one of those catch-22 things, all right? Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, I'm here to help you. I'm your coach. <laughs>